Hello friends, this is Will Dodd from Georgia Youth Science and Technology Centers, and you're watching episode three of Prepping for the Junk Bot Battle. When I left you last, we were looking at a setup kind of like this. I had my DC motor that was my drive motor for uh, my robot. I had my battery and I had it hooked up so that there was a button in line with this DC motor here. So I could uh, leave this button unpressed to leave the circuit open and the drive motor would not move or I could press it, close the circuit and make the motor move. So that's simple enough. The next step is to get everybody to being able to press these two buttons, make their motor move backwards, press these two buttons, make their motor go forward. Now uh, I'll go ahead and admit when I was playing around with this on my own, I knew it was possible to make the motor go in reverse using just the buttons, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. I tried all kinds of different ways on this breadboard. Finally, I ended up asking the right questions to our dear friend Google. Uh, and I ended up on the this YouTube video here, which I will link in the show notes where a, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a kid. He shows us how to actually make a motor go forward and backwards using four buttons. So that's where I'm at right now. Uh, so my setup looks a lot like this, which is kind of a confusing mess. Uh, let me show you a close up of that. So again, that, that is what it looks like on my breadboard. I'll show you a more organized version of that using something called Tinkercad. So this picture right here shows basically the same circuit that I've set up. Um, again, Tinkercad just allows you to cleanly uh, lay out and prototype different electronics uh, circuits on a breadboard. Um, so this picture, I'll make sure that I link that to our 30th anniversary website so that you can refer to that if you need to. But this circuit right here will allow you to press these two buttons, make your motor go backwards, press these two buttons, make your motor go forward. So next step in episode four, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the same thing with the servo that's the two front tires on my robot that's gonna achieve a left and right turn. So stay tuned and I'll see you in episode four.